And in case you were wondering, I'm sweating my A off. It's hot in here. <laughs> and I remember the first time that we came to Kolan, I completely burned my hands. This was the first year that we lived in Thailand. And this is 13 years ago. And the island was very, very different from how it looks now. The sun is different down here, guys. If you come to Thailand, make sure you protect yourself. Uh, good morning! We are here on the island of Koh Lan and today I'm going to show you around. It's not a big island, it's about 4 kilometers from north to south and from east to west it's about 2 kilometers. We are staying here at the Riviera Hotel. Today I'm going to show you the island. We're going to start up on the northern part of the island and then we're going to make our way back and then we'll show you a bit of a sunset at the Same beach. This is our right for today so let's go of the day and this is the Ta Yai beach which is all the way up north and the reason why we start here is because our resort is on the northern part of the island this is one of the shortest beaches on the island so it's around nine o'clock now so it's early morning not too many people on the beach and that's actually one of the keys if you are on Koh Lan I would recommend if you want to go to your favorite beach to go early in the morning because a little bit later it's uh, gonna get busy and uh, later in the afternoon we're gonna come back here and then I will show you how it looks then. So here you see the speedboats that are on the way to Tawan Beach and these are all people that come for a day trip from Patia. This is just north of the Ta Yai beach. It's a nice little cove here. Here on Ta Yai Beach you have a nice restaurant and unfortunately you cannot eat here but they do have uh, plenty of drinking options and you, you sit directly on the beach. So let me show you guys on the map. We are staying here and we are starting here at the Ta Yai Beach and then we're gonna make our way down Tang Lang, Ta Wen, Tawen is the biggest beach and it's super busy there. And then Tien Beach is actually one of our favorites. Then Same Beach where we're gonna do a sunset at the evening. And then here down south you have the Monkey Beach. And here you have the viewpoint where you have a very nice view of the island. So uh, let's go.
Tawan Beach, you find this big Buddha statue. And uh, these guys have just been hang gliding here. And from here you also have a nice view of Tawan Beach. As you can see, busy, busy, busy. So these are all people that come here for a day trip from Pattaya. This is the second village on the island and this is on Tawan Beach and there's also a ferry port here so the ferry from Patia just arrived. This is the longest and busiest beach on the island and uh, there are also quite a few uh, restaurants and bars in here. These boats are going back to Patia. So this is during the day and later we'll show you how it looks in the evening and there's quite a big difference. It's completely packed now and these are all people that come here for a day trip. So here we are at Tong Lang Beach and this is next to Taweng Beach but this is uh, a bit more relaxed and there are a few nice resorts in here. I see the Kolan Grand View. Here we are at Tien Beach and you can walk the bridge here to get to the main beach part 
this is one of our favorite beaches here on Kolan and it's one of only two beaches that has a sunset and it's located on the west coast during the day a lot of uh, boats come directly from Patia and they drop the people here to enjoy the beach but then uh, if you come now like it's uh, around five o'clock these are only the people that are actually staying on the island so on a lot of the beaches you also have water sports like jet skis or the banana boat and the banana boat is about 300 baht per person and it looks like fun <laughs> Across the island there are a couple of shortcuts and these are actually paths that you can use with a motorcycle. You can walk here as well of course but it's quite high and quite far but you can get some amazing views like this one. And we have the beach down here and there's a couple more islands in the distance and Patia is on the other side so we are watching westwards. So let's uh, get on a motorcycle and move on <laughs> here on the southern part of the island you have the windmill viewpoint and from here you have an amazing view so you have Patia and Yom Chen all over there and then here you have Nual Beach the most southern beach and you have a viewpoint actually all around the cargo ships that come from Bangkok and head to other destinations around the world this is definitely a must see if you have your motorcycle make sure you come uh, up this path here and go check out this viewpoint Down here you have Same Beach. With a building that looks like a stingray, right? I'm not sure what it is. I, I checked it yesterday and it seems to be a bit old and it's not in the best condition. So I don't know if it used to be a hotel. So the highest point of the island is 180 meters. So I'm not sure how much that is in feet, but I'm pretty sure I will uh, add that here in the description. On the way before, we just noticed these windmills here. So maybe that's also the reason why this is the windmill viewpoint but unfortunately they are not uh, really working and in case you were wondering I'm sweating my A off it's hot in here <laughs> and I remember the first time that we came to Koh Lan, I completely burned my hands this was the first year that we lived in Thailand and this is 13 years ago and the island was very very different from how it looks now and I was not prepared for the sun the sun is different down here guys if you come to Thailand make sure you protect yourself so here the path goes in the direction of Nual Beach and there you would go to Same so it's the end of the day and we are here at Nual Beach and this is also known as 
monkey beach so they're supposed to be monkeys in here so we uh, we should go and have a little look this is one of the more popular beaches on the island Same and Tienen Beach are the two beaches where you can find the sunset. So we are going to enjoy our sunset here and then we are off to have some dinner. So this was the last beach for today. We are going to enjoy the sunset and after that we are off to the port where we are going to eat and I will show you a bit of the restaurants there. There is a small nightlife area. There are like three bars in a row where they play live music. So uh, let's go. In the port there is a fresh market where you can go in the evening. They start around five o'clock. Buy your food here and then eat on the beach there's a little restaurant and there across the water you cannot see it really well but there's this patia so if you come here at sunset, you have a nice view. So there are four bars in a row here that all play very loud live music. So this one here is called Captain Morgan. So 
this one is only food. And here we have the one more. Well, yes, there is one more. <laughs> Here in the port you have two nice restaurants. The first one is Love on Sea and then down there you have Pizza Coffee Colan and this is next to the temple. This is the main temple here on the island which is in the port village. Colan by the way, the name Colan means coral island this is the same statue that you find on the hill You know, Thai temples are always interesting. Anybody knows what the pink elephant means? So to get back to the mainland, there are two options. We can take the speedboat, which is 150 baht, or we can take a big boat, which is 30 baht. So obviously for the money, the big boat is much more interesting, but we have to wait 45 minutes for the big boat to start. And it's gonna take us 45 minutes, so we might opt to go with one of these speedboats that are actually going now and that's 150 baht per person so uh, it's a bit more expensive but uh, it looks like we can go now so uh, let's go Back in Batia on the mainland. So I hope you enjoyed this update regarding Koh Lan. We had a great stay here. We showed you all the beaches. We stayed here for two nights. I think uh, two nights is actually enough. Uh, you can also do a day trip if you are in Bangkok or if you are in Batia. It's quite easy to do. Anyway, if you enjoyed this update, feel free to subscribe. Drop me a line and see you guys in my next video.